Hey, someone would be taking a look at a game called Hue. This game comes out on August 30th on Steam, and I would consider it a story-driven puzzle platformer with some very interesting and unique color-changing mechanics. So we're going to go ahead and start from the very beginning. And it does say that a controller is recommended. Let me go ahead and just start fresh from a new game, just so uh, everything is loaded correctly. Here we go. So I'm this little character. Dearest you, oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of color. Some call them impossible colors. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Grey, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering colored shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this colored plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the colored tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. Alright, so hopefully the uh, volume is loud enough where you could hear that. It's kind of soft. So it seems like a girl is uh, trapped somewhere in a different color plane. And so far I'm getting sort of like a limbo vibe from the game. Everything is black and white. But it'll start to get more colorful later on. Let's go to the left. The fisherman caught a glimpse of something, something unusual, down past the lighthouse. Alright, let's go down past the lighthouse. Alright, we found our first color. Ooh, and everything turned blue. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? This, this is why we're here. So throughout the game, there's various obstacles that are certain shades of colors, and we're going to have to use our power to get rid of um, those obstacles. Hello. Hugh, is that you? Thank goodness, I've been trapped for days. Help me get out of here. I keep hearing noises. It's creeping me out. So by selecting my blue color, everything will turn blue, and then the obstacle is basically... It basically disappears in the uh, background. They just disappeared. I don't know how you did it. Who cares? I'm saved. Thank you. And what the narrator was saying earlier was kind of interesting. It's sort of like... Like, we all see a color like blue, but how do we know we're all seeing the same color? What if uh, some people see it in like lighter shades or darker shades or maybe even a different color altogether? So here's an obstacle. I can just go ahead and delete it. Enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations, to pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. For what it can be. Oh, hello there. You startled me. I'm just resting my legs. Don't play too close to the water now. So I think if I drop in there, I'll probably die. So let's just keep on moving.
definitely getting a limbo vibe from a lot of these uh, little puzzles. The puzzles do get a lot more challenging later on once we unlock some more colors. Alright, so this one... If I change it to blue, the rocks will fall on my head. And if I fall down here, the spikes will kill me. So I need to move in this uh, box over here. And then I can jump on top of it. And then I can turn the color. And then I can jump across. I really like the music in this game as well. Very calming and relaxing soundtrack. Alright, on this one I need to wait until the rocks fall down, and then I can jump on top of them to get across the spikes. Oops, didn't pull that far enough. In a way, you can you can almost call this a physics puzzle platformer. Because there's a lot of physics-based challenges. <laughs> Oops. Uh, that one landed, cracked my neck. Alright, I have no idea what this vial is. It might be like an optional collectible, but I've yet to figure that out. I haven't made it too far in the game, I just made it um, up to the point where we unlock a new color, which isn't too far away. But it looks like I'm trying to find the girl who's typing messages to me. Looks like she's trapped somewhere. And there's that mysterious guy. I'm really enjoying the look of this game so far. Like, the backgrounds look really neat, even though it's only blue. And then we just found purple, so we can change the background to purple. Wow. Now that looks pretty cool. And then there's a door that's supposed to be here, but it's hidden. We need to change back to blue, and then we can see the purple door. Did you know, Hugh, that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum? It's the hardest color for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. A color beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colors. And I fear that this, this is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do, I mean, you're reading this letter, or, or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real? Alright, so she's in a impossible color. And we cannot find her. I guess we're, we're trying to find her, but we cannot perceive her quite yet. Oops. <laughs> Messed up there. So in this puzzle, there's invisible boxes. We have to change the color to show the box. As you can see, I'm just alternating, and I don't know why it didn't work there. I guess it didn't go off in time. I just need to slow down a little bit. There we go. So this one's a little bit tricky. I have to go behind this box and then push it through. very interesting game. They're sort of like two levels stacked on top of one another, and they only show themselves whenever you change color. Oops. <laughs> that was a mistake. Actually, I think I may be able to just change it to gray. Oh no, you can't change it to gray. Okay. So it's purple. Oh, 
Oh, I can change colors in midair. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to jump in the air and change colors. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Alright, this one's going to be kind of tricky. There we go. I would definitely recommend a controller if you plan on getting this game. Uh, I would think this would be extremely difficult using a mouse and keyboard. There we go. The mystery man. What do you want? Why are you watching me? Oh, I think we might we might get a new color. Yep. So I guess every time we get to this area, we find a new color. Here's uh, orange. Hopefully I'm not colorblind. <laughs> Whoa, that looks really neat. All the backgrounds, they look, they look pretty great. Even though it's just one solid color, there's like a background like texture and a little uh, little orbs flying by. It makes it look really cool. So now we have orange. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass, surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. Hmm. So perhaps she found this, like, un or impossible color and then got trapped somewhere. Alright, so we made it back to this point in the game. I guess we can climb down here now. Right, we haven't found red, we haven't found yellow. Let's see what's over here. Another doorway. Dr. Gray soon became my assigned mentor, and I can't help but feel he somehow had a hand in it. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. We discovered more about color than I could ever have imagined. We split light, mapped spectrums, we painted. We laughed. We worked long hours, and Soon, our goal became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us, and we knew it. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything over here. Ooh, there is. So that's a hidden little area. I don't have blue yet, though. Area yeah, I do. I have light blue. I don't have dark blue. I have like cyan, but I don't have uh, blue. Let's see, purple. Wait, is this possible? Oh, I have to jump over here first. There we go. And there's something here. I wonder if I can knock this over. Yes, I can. But why would I need to do that again? <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit confused already. So I think I was supposed to knock this over. But then again, I have no idea. Oh, wait. wait I think I know. I think I need to change it to orange and then jump on top of the purple square. Oops. I need to change it to blue. There we go. Now we're making some progress. I think I have to push this block over too. There we go. Perfect. 
Oh, that's cool. When colors intersect with one another, they change the color of the block. So this block is supposed to be purple, but since orange is behind it, it creates red. That is very interesting. Okay, so I need to make it orange. And then I need to jump up and change the color, maybe? Or actually, maybe I should push this block. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I missed the door. Okay, so these puzzles are starting to get a little bit more challenging, which is actually pretty cool. Oops. Okay, we moved. Okay, I think we got it now. Let's change it to blue. Now we can go up there and get the key. Now we need to push these blocks. Wait. Oh, I could just do this and then jump over here and then jump back. Oh, that was pretty easy. Oops. Another hidden door. These are very, like, unique puzzles. Actually, this is... This is a little tricky. Oh. Huh. Why don't the blocks above... I, I thought the blocks above would actually change. Or would, like, be able to be pushed. But I guess not. Alright, so I think I have to make... Oh, I know what to do. I, I, I sort of messed up here. Let's go ahead and push the blue block back. Crap. Alright, I got this. I got this. I'll just push this one more pillar back. Okay. So let's walk through all of these and then get back to this little ledge. I think we're supposed to jump on each platform. But I guess I have to move each platform a little bit so I can at least stand on them. And then whenever I change colors... Wait. I have to be orange. Oh, crap. Actually, I'm kind of confused now. How does this... How does this work? I thought I'd be able to, like, jump on the platforms and then... Like, quickly change, maybe while I'm flying in air? Let's see. I could be completely mistaken here and wasting a lot of time. So, let's make this... Okay. So, I need to make it, like, orange. I need to, like, jump in the air, change it to orange, and then fly over here. But, I don't know if that's gonna work. Hmm. Or maybe I'm supposed to, like, jump across, and then right before I land, I'm supposed to change the color, perhaps. Again, I'm kind of confused here. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to switch the pillars. That sounds... yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. So that every pillar is a different color. That way, whenever I change colors, it will it will remove the top section, but it won't, won't remove the bottom section. Very interesting. Oops, let me move this pillar a little bit back. Alright, so the one pillar that I'm missing is blue. It's right here. So I need to go ahead and move blue all the way across. So these puzzles do get a little challenging later on. I did not expect something like this. Wait, I screwed up. So I need to push purple a little bit further. I was supposed to push orange, but I accidentally pushed... Crap. Push blue. I need to... do... do. Sorry that this puzzle's taking so long. Uh, okay, so I need to move purple over here, and then... Let's go ahead and move orange to the middle. There we go, now we got it. Alright, this should be perfect. So now I can just jump across, and then I can just switch to orange. Oh, actually purple. Oops. This is harder than it looks. 
Alright, so jump to purple, and then I need to change it to blue, maybe. There we go. And then I need to change it to purple. And then jump across, and then finally I finish. Sweet. Wow. Well, that was a pretty uh, intense puzzle. It took me a while. This one looks kind of crazy too. Looks like I'm gonna have to run. Actually... Wait, wait, wait for it. And then orange. Oh crap. Never mind. I think I had it right. Maybe I should just run. Alright, this looks good. I thought there would be a way to stop the boulders, but I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to run. Whoa. No! I changed it to the wrong color. Alright, here we go again. It's kind of tricky because you have to change colors uh, quickly. And sometimes, I mean, you have to make sure that you're not deleting the color below you and you're not deleting the color that you're about to jump to. If that makes any sense, but... So this one I need to change to orange. I do like that it slows down time, so I have time to choose what color. And then orange, and then done. And then purple. No! I accidentally switched it to orange. Uh, I meant to change it to purple, but it quickly changed to orange. I think my thumb, like... Uh, I think I let go of the thumbstick a little bit too early. But at least I know how to do this now. It should be a little bit easier. I am really enjoying this game, though. This, this game has a very interesting, like... It's very unique in many ways, that's what I'm trying to say. And I like the like the whole atmosphere of the game. It feels feels like mysterious, but also calming at the same time. All right, now we finish. It would have been sad if I missed that jump to the ladder. All right. So this video is getting kind of long, so I'm gonna have to cut it short. I might do one or two more puzzles. Let's see. Uh-oh. Alright, so this puzzle is going to be kind of interesting. Looks like I only have a certain number of moves that I can do. Um, Alright, so the first one, I definitely have to get rid of the blue. And then I have to get rid of the orange so I can jump up here. But then I can't... I can't choose purple, so I'm going to have to go between orange and blue to get this key. Got the key. I mean, maybe if I run across, I could get there. So we're gonna have to do this fast. Nope. I'm actually kind of confused. Oops. Alright, maybe I'm supposed to push the pillars back. Oh, I see. I got it. So what I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to go over here. Actually, I think I screwed myself. Uh, orange, okay. And then... Orange, and then cyan. Okay, so I need to push this... Oh, I can't. Okay, so I need to push this block. This little cube here to the right. And then once I change it to purple, I'll be able to get into this little uh, hole over here. Oh no, no, no! I jumped a little bit too early. Ah, but that's the solution. <laughs> I'm just failing big time. There we go. 
Now I just have to make my way across. Should be pretty easy. As long as I don't get, get hit by any of these boulders. There we go. Very creative puzzles. I'm liking this game. Alright, so I'm gonna go through one more. Uh oh, skeletons. Skeletons hanging over here. <laughs> hey, watch it, buddy. You're not getting under my skin. <laughs> Little jokes. Alright. Oh, uh, this one looks crazy. I have to switch colors to avoid getting hit. I'm so glad that the time slows down whenever you're choosing a color. If the time didn't slow down, this game would be so difficult. I mean, it's already really challenging. Have to watch out for these spike traps as well. Oh man, I didn't change colors in time. So we've only unlocked two or three colors, and I think there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. That is insane. I wonder how hard this game gets later on. And I keep failing at the same little corner. I need to change colors before I jump, because that's what screwed me up. Because time is still going whenever you're trying to switch colors, just very slowly. I need to wait here, change the purple, then we all, then change to orange, and then blue. Don't die. Oh wow, I almost died there. Purple, there we go. Top is right up here. No, 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 no! Oh, that was so close. I uh, almost got hit by that rock. Oh, there's the guy again. So I may make a multi-part series on this game, but I think I'm just going to stop now since we... This is a good stopping point. Uh, we made it pretty far in the game, I think, and... What is that, pink? Yep, pink. So yeah, I really enjoyed playing through this game. Um, this game does come out on August 30th, so keep that in mind. I'll leave a link to the store page on Steam if you want to check this game out for yourself. Be sure to give it a look, watch the trailer, uh, maybe put it on your wish list. I'm pretty sure it's going to sell very well. Um, not a whole lot of games like this, and certainly probably the only game with this sort of color changing background mechanic. Very creative, very interesting, and the puzzles are fantastic. I haven't experienced puzzles like this in any other game, so definitely worth uh, the experience alone. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and have a nice day.